Do you remember falling as a child off your bike? You were crying all the way home with a bleeding knee. The plaster and a little kiss from your mother did miracles. Your wound healed, and after a few days, a totally new pink skin appeared. By now, you know that it was not mommy's plaster that healed that wound. It was your body. It just did it all by itself. Did you ever wonder how your body knows how to heal a wound? How do your blood cells know where to go and what to do? How do, there, do, your, do your blood cells know when there is an inflammation process going on somewhere where they have to repair the damage? And how does your immune system know how to respond properly? How does your immune system distinguish a good cell from a bad cell, like a virus or a bacteria or a parasite? If the immune system cannot tell the difference, it will start to attack both types of cells. We now know that there is a mechanism that makes our cells so intelligent that they know what to do. Our cells have a strong communication network. Our cells seem to talk and give messages to each other. How do our cells communicate? A totally new science has evolved during the last 20 years. We call it glycobiology or glycoscience. Glyco is a Greek word for sweet. So glycoscience is the science of sugars. Glycoscience is the new frontier in medical science. In 1990, the University of Oxford quoted that glycoscience is the fastest growing science in medical world. And in 2003, the MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology said that glycoscience is one of the 10 emerging technologies that will change the world. Glycoscience is entering mainstream medicine. Today, here at TEDx, I want to share my passion for glycobiology with you. I want to share my knowledge and my experience. I am excited about the impact that good sugars can have for all of you, healthy or ill, young or old, in good or top of, or bad condition. Um, we already knew that our cell, sugars, well, wait a minute, sugars, most of people think of sugar, of the bad sugars. The, t the word sugars is quite confusing. When we think of sugar, we, sh we think of the sugar that we put into our coffee or tea, the sugars that we eat too much, sugars that can cause a lot of health problems. No, I'm not talking about these bad sugars. Today I'm talking about good sugars. I call them smart sugars or essential sugars. We already knew that our cells need vitamins, minerals, amino acids and essential fatty acids. We now know that in addition our cells need at least eight essential sugars for cell communication. Let me briefly explain some technical details. Inside cells, these sugars combine to proteins and form the so-called glycoproteins. These glycoproteins form a sort of sugar antennas on the outside of every healthy cell. By means of these sugar antennas, cells communicate with each other. The glycoproteins are built up in a three-dimensional way. We have long chains, we have short chains, we have branch chains, and we have linear chains. So it looks like a real forest on the outside of every healthy cell. And this forest prevents viruses, bacteria, and other enemy cells to enter a healthy cell by blocking the entrance of the cell surface. The information sent upon to cells is very, very accurately by, because of these sugars. These sugars are the fine-tuning for our cell communication. They, they play a vital role in every human physiological process, immune system response, tissue regeneration, cell replication, growth and structural stability, 
they're even responsible for the attraction of sperm cells to an egg cell to foster fertilization. So where can we get these smart sugars? Well, we have to eat them. Two of them, glucose and galactose, are readily available in our modern Western diet. Glucose, well, we eat too much. And galactose can be found in a lot of dairy products. The liver can form the other six sugars out of glucose and galactose. But we see now that a lot of people, the liver doesn't function optimally because of chronic stress, pollution, age, illness. So it is much more essential for the body to have all the sugars available in our diet. What should we eat then? Well, we should eat like our ancestors did hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Their diet consisted of fruits, vegetables, plants, seeds, seaweeds, and medicinal mushrooms. Today, only 24% of our daily intake consists of fruits and vegetables. And the fruits and vegetables that we eat have suffered from our agricultural methods, the food processing, the widespread use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. And even if we should eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, then it is still hard to get all these sugars, because these sugars are formed during the sun, during the last moments of ripening. Then the sun finishes its glycosylation process. Did you ever taste the difference between a banana that we buy here in the supermarket or a banana that has been ripened on the tree in the Caribbean, for example? That banana in the Caribbean is so much better in taste, so much sweeter. So our fruits and vegetables nowadays are picked green and hardly contain all these sugars, with, of course, consequences for our health and our immune system. I'm excited to see that the pharmaceutical industry has recognized the critical importance of these six, eight sugar molecules. They are spending now millions of dollars developing, trying to develop sugar-based drugs, vaccines, and anti-drug delivery systems. Currently, over 15 pharmaceutical companies are in phase one, two, or three, testing sugar-based drugs varying from diabetes to cancer, for blood clotting problems, as anti-inflammatories, for AIDS, epilepsy, Parkinson's, and many, many more. The good news is, we don't have to wait until these drug companies have developed their drugs, because we already have the sugars available in nature, without side effects. The latest research, published in 2011, in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition has showed that our body is able to build new and better glycoforms if we supply the body these sugars by means of food or food supplements. Since many years, I give my patients dietary advices on food with these essential sugars or food supplements. There are good supplements readily available on the market, supplements with a mix of all these sugars, supplements that can help build and modulate your immune system, supplements that can uh, look after a better cell communication. And what I see with my patients is that they're developing a much stronger immune system. We just give pure nutrition to all the 60 plus trillion cells in the body. And because you build 150 to 500 billion new cells every day, you need these sugars every day. Our healthcare may be the best in the world in emergency medicine, but we see that more people are developing all kinds of chronic diseases. According to the National Institute of Health, one out of 25 Americans is suffering from an autoimmune disease. In Europe, we see the same statistics. We all know the stories about infections that are antibiotic resistant. It's increasing at an alarming rate. 
almost 90% of all the medications prescribed by your doctor may help to suppress the symptoms of the disease, but don't even fix or kill your disease. So how effectively is your immune system really protecting you? And what about your child's immune system? It has already been proven that it is not the doctor who's giving the medicine that is building your immune system. You have to build it yourself. Remember, it was not mommy's plaster that healed that wound on your knee when you were falling off your bike. My slogan is, let the food, and in this particular case, let these sugars be your medicine. As a doctor, I'm passionate in my work. I see a lot of people with all kinds of chronic diseases. I see people with intestinal problems. I see people with depression, anxiety, chronic fatigue syndrome, burnout, even cancer. And believe me, I have seen wonderful things happening in my practice after giving my patients these food supplements with all these sugars. Sometimes within a few weeks. The stories sound miraculous and often too good to be true, but they are true and they are medically documented. No miracles are involved. What do you want your cells to look like? In this picture, we see a healthy cell and we see a sick cell, which is, by the way, a cancer cell. If you give your body the right tools to build with, don't underestimate the potential of your body to heal, regulate, regenerate and protect itself. In my opinion, these sugars are the missing link in our food and maybe even the missing link in medicine. With these essential sugars, you have the possibility to support your own health and your own immune system. And you can start today. The choice is yours.